in the realm of the spirit, I am seeing myself straight away where the party now agreed to do what is called party convention. But I see what is called catastrophe. And I said, what is this catastrophe all about? And I begin to see what is called a strong battle. There is a conflict of interest. And before I know it, the moment the party now come for their convention, as they were talking about who they are going to pick up for their presidential candidates, before they begin to talk about the presidential candidate, and the people now begin to, you know, discuss within themselves, and at the end of it all, there was catastrophe and chaos. And this chaos and catastrophe result, and I see what's called massive, massive defection from APC to other parties. I said, what, what is this? I, I am not a politician and I'm not interested in all these things. All I know is to owe them the prayer, to pray for them and decree and declare and prophesy who will become the president and who will become the governor and who will become the 36 state governors. Like the last election, I begin to prophesy from one state to another, one state to another, one state to another. And all the prophecies I gave about all the states, they all came to pass because they were all accurate prophecy. According to the election, who will win, who will not win, how it will go, I prophesy all of them and they came to pass. This is not the first time, this is not the second time. Right 2013, 2014, I told them how the Buhari will become the president of the country. I prophesied it in life, it was life here in the church and everybody heard it and it came to pass. A year before the election, I prophesied it and I told them how it's going to happen. Buhari has not even picked a ticket and I told them how parties will emerge together and come together and then bring a man called the Buhari from the father me that will win the election and it came to pass. When it comes to God, God is the greatest marker you want to talk about. God is the strength of the whole universe. God is the life of the whole universe. God is the good and bad. God is the heaven and the earth. God is the light and darkness. God is everything you want to think about. You think about life is God. You think about death is God. Everything is God. You cannot separate anything from God. And God is God. And that is why every time we come before him, all we owe him is to worship him. You be God, you know be man. Whoa. I say you be God, you know be man. Whoa. Jehovah Jireh, you be God. Jehovah Nisi, you be God. You be God, you know be man. Whoa. I find Omega, you be God, you know be man. You be God, you be God, you know not be man. Because in the realm of the spirit, in the political circle, right there in the political world, if there's any prophet that can prophesy about what is going to happen in the politics of the country, country of Nigeria, country of Africa, country of Russia, country of China, country of United States of America, if there's any prophet to prophesy, Major prophet Doctor David King Hill Elijah is the prophet to prophesy. And as I begin to look at it again, I begin to see what is called a, a, a defection from the party. And as the people were defecting, I see PDP open their net and say, Oh, yeah, we're gonna come, begin to come. And before you know it, both the scorpion, python, and all kind of chukutuku animal, the thing that are in the fish, the fishes in the water that we are looking at, oh, oh, these ones are maybe catfish or maybe uh, croca fish or whatever. I see different kind of fish, snake of fish, electric fish, python fish, uh, shark fish, and different kind of things now begin to surge. And PDP begin to wake up them, wake up them, wake up them, and they enter into PDP and they begin to bite and scatter and scatter and scatter. And all of a sudden, I see a spring up of a different party altogether. That spring up and begin to spring a challenge. They're going to spring a challenge, they're going to spring a challenge. And there's what's called a conflict of interest. The Lord has spoken and let the word of God come to pass. Not man. You'll be God, you'll not be man. Whoa. You be God, 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 Hey, as I'm looking again in the realm of the spirit, the Lord took me straight away. I see a Nigerian artist, a Nigerian artist, a Nigerian artist that is an artist coming out for politics. 
I don't know whether I want to contest for governor, I want to contest for president, or I want to be a senator. But this is a Nigerian artist. And when I look at this, it says actor, artist, actor, look, artist, coming out to contest. Then I begin to ask, I say, oh, is this going to be a place of music? Or what is it going to be? Or just a politician or whatever? I don't know, but the Lord knows everything. And then they begin to poke nose, begin to poke nose different artists, they begin to ask questions. Is this, uh, is it David O? Is it uh, whiskey? Is, uh, is it, is it, is it going to be, is it going to be Flavor Nabalia? Is it going to be uh, YRMD or whoever is going to be? Or who is this person? Who is this actor? Who is this artist coming out for politics in a big way? And the Lord said, the whole thing and everything that's going to happen there remain the secret. What is revealed is revealed for human being and what is hidden is hidden for God and God alone that is major. To see the secret things and to keep it for the Lord, the secret thing belongs to God. It's not given to everybody. You be God, you not be man. Jehovah Jireh, you be God. Jehovah Nancy, you be God. Heshadai, you be God. You not be man. We must all pray together for the country of America. I don't know. Maybe because of my sons and my daughters, or because of my people that are right there in the United States of America. I don't know why. Every time the Lord now begin to constantly talking about America. I'm not an American. I'm a Nigerian right here in a Biafra land, and I am right here in Biafra land. And uh, I don't know why God now begin to take the countries of America and other countries of the world, begin to take major prophet there to go and now begin to, you know, prophesy about what's happening right there in America. We must pray for the man called Biden. Biden is going to have it hot. President Biden needs to be prayed for. Uh, you know, you know. sometimes when the major prophet of, of God is prophesying, don't look at it. Oh, major prophet, where are you? Are you in the left or you are in the right? I am in the position that God has given to me, the position of the major prophet of God, worldwide, nationwide, global prophet, to prophesy the whole world. Tell the people what will happen before they start happening. I'm not a prophet that do copycat. I'm a prophet that tell it before it start happening. What's happening in Ukraine and Russia and all these things you are seeing now? I said it on the 31st night. There was an inch of that last year in my prophecy. And we entered the the first night, it was still. And now you saw it happening. When will they hear me? Are they going to hear me in the dream? Or they want to hear me uh, uh, after the rapture? Or when the whole world has passed away? <laughs> The third world war, I told you people with room, they should pray to avert it. It's already in the sky. <laughs> but the finger of God is just holding it like this. This is the only finger that God is using the finger to hold it. If the finger moves like this, everywhere catch fire immediately. We saw it before now. We saw it. We knew. And all these things are targeted to humanity and mankind and sons of men. But there is a God in heaven. You be God, you know, be man. Whoa. I go in a chamber, you be God, you know, be man. Whoa. Jehovah Jehovah, you, you be, be God. God. Jehovah Nisio, you, you be, be God. God. Oh. I shall die, you, you, you be, be God, God. you know, be, be man. Whoa. Jehovah Shama, you be God, you know, be man. Whoa. Rakanto Puruko Sumbra had Yalaba. I say, you be God, you know, be man. Whoa. You be God. You be God. You be God. You be God. I say you are God. You are not a man. Jehovah You are God. You are not a man. Jehovah You are God. You are God. You are God, you love me, my Pray for the president of America because things are going to get off hand. Things are going to go sour. Things are going to go off hand. Things are going to go up. Things are going to go different direction. And people now begin to question what kind of a president is. 
what kind of a present is this? Is this what we bargain? What is he doing? Is he dull? Is he sleeping? Is he waking up? Is he jumping up? Where is he? What is the decision? What is this? And the president, you know, is a gentleman who likes to take things easy. But the people doesn't want the way that the man will be taking that is easy. Nice see, you're going to see a lot of things. You must pray for him because the realm of the spirit strategies to take him out are there in the realm of the spirit. And I can read out from the spiritual world, look at what is there in the realm of the spirit to be point right there in the spirit realm to pick up what is there in the realm of the spirit. God searches the heart of men. God searches the event of days. God knows what will happen at the end of the days. He's not a man. He's God. So you need to pray for the president of America, Joe Biden, because I, I am seeing a lot of things happening in his hand. And I begin to ask, I say, why is this thing happening to him? Why is this thing happening to him? And it become a very big, uh, a very big, uh, what is called, this is what is called a strong and a very, a very great trial time, tested time. Only prayer can save him. Only prayer can save him. Pray for him. Pray for him. You need to pray. Pray for him. It's not the will of God that anybody should perish. God, you know, people that have already, you know, dedicated themselves, uh, dedicated their lives, uh, bring out their time to serve humanity. Whether they are doing well or they are not doing well, they deserve our prayers. They deserve our support. They deserve to assist them. Uh, we told that the major prophet of God is not close. But I know I'm close. If anybody needs the help of God to the major prophet of God, it doesn't take uh, the U.S. Air Force One to come to Lagos State in Nigeria and come and ask for the major prophet of God to step in on board. The major prophet will step in on board the aircraft Air Force One and go to America and help things out. It's not difficult. It's not tough. It's not a tough task. This is a work of the spirit. And because it's a work of the spirit, work of the spirit has to go spiritually. It's not work of the spirit is quite different from the work of offices. You know, people have different kind of offices where you use Bible, where you use a, a, a kind of a diplomatic and whatever, whatever. The things of the spirit has to be compared to the things of the spirit. Spiritual to spiritual, deep, call it unto deep. Comparing spiritual to spiritual, not carnal to spiritual. Because spiritual things are the things that control the physical. The affairs of men have to be controlled from the spiritual world to the physical world. If you want to do well, you have to do well in the spirit. If you want to succeed, you have to succeed in the spirit. If you want to make it, you have to make it in the spirit. If you want to progress in the physical, progress in the spirit. And everything you look in the physical will just fall in place. Because that's how God works. You be God, you not be man. Oh, Jehovah Jireh. You are God, you are not a man. Oh. Jehovah Nisi, you, you are God. Jehovah Jireh, you are God. Oh. You are God. Oh. You are God. Oh.